Welcome back to another episode of Budget Builder Face Off, where I am joined by a familiar face of the channel, B Rad or Brad Plays, as he is now known as, as he's had a, a change of his uh, name and channel and stuff like that since he's last been on. How are you doing, though, Brad? I'm doing pretty damn good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, looking forward to actually seeing what this card is like in game. Yes, we're doing it on James Ward Prowse and his trailblazers card he has had a change of play style because obviously in real life he was renowned for being a set piece specialist so he hasn't got that as a play style plus now he's instead got incisive passing i believe that one's called it'll be interesting i think that play style is very op in my opinion with uh, the through balls just literally through ball through ball through ball and it's very accurate and powerful yeah, he's got a couple of really desirable traits, actually. Like, the, he's still got dead ball, he's still got whipped pass, and he's then obviously got relentless as well, which is massive. So, yeah, he looks like he's got some good play styles. He does. He does. Uh, what are you thinking of Trailblazers, actually, as a whole? It's hard to say, isn't it? Because we are only... This is the thing that I, I keep forgetting, and most people do forget. We are, like, week four of FIFA. Yeah. So, like... It's hard to be like, oh, these some of these look a little bit lackluster. But actually, we are still at that point where like cards shouldn't have a huge boost. Um, and the choice of cards shouldn't be too meta. Because if we had all the best cards in this promo straight away, then there'd be nothing to work towards and to, towards Team of the Year. So I don't mind it. I haven't really... I don't think I packed anyone. I've done the SBC Rodrigo. He's in my team. He's very good. I like him. Um... But yeah, other than that, I've not really tried any others. No, I, I've, I mean, I've done the ones for, with review, and the one that I definitely want to me mention, and this has got to be played that you're wanting to have in your Saudi RTG that you're doing on YouTube at the moment, which is Mares. Yeah. Oh my God, that card was absolutely incredible in the team when I tried him out. I always, in the certainly in the last two Fifas. Mares has always been one of my favourite cards in game. There's something about him. I don't know whether it's his body makeup or something, but he just seems to fit the way I play, I guess, and I really do enjoy his cards. So, yeah, I have got my eyes on it for sure. Maybe I'll have a chance to pack another Mares in a second because I've packed him on my RTG, but I haven't packed him on this account other than the loan card. I've got two packs I need to open up, one for myself, one for Brad, that we're going to get our second player from. The biggest question is... Do you want pack number one or two? I'm going to go number two. I think that I'd rather see what, what comes out first, see how your luck is compared to mine. Okay, Mine's here poor. we go. Ripping it right now. There's no colourful flair, no big shock right there. Is that variety? No, it's Barella, which is not too bad, actually. It's I don't right. think he's worth a lot, but it's a nice-looking card. Not a double walkout, so it's an 85 behind him. Uh, Sheridan is behind uh, him. Uh, Canadian goalkeeper, who is how tall? Five foot nine. Yeah, I think I'll give that a pass and go with Barella for myself personally. Yeah, I don't blame you. One of them where he's not stupidly expensive, but good in game, I would say. And then in to yours, we are getting no colourful flair again. German striker, Wolfsburg. That's Pop, I believe. Yep, Pop goes the weasel. It is not a double walkout again, but it's an 88 rated striker. It's a good fodder at minimum. Uh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I don't know uh, which of this one you would rather oh, go with. Wow. But... See, this is my luck. This is my luck. <laughs> go on. <laughs> it's sure. So, uh, the Man City Jamaican striker. So, do you want a Jamaican Man City striker or do you want a German Wolfsburg striker? Oh, 69 pace as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll go for pop. That, that's that sorted then. We're now going to need a budget for building around our two marquee players. What are we going to get though? What is the budget? Yep. Yeah. I got what I wanted, a minimum of 250. We get 350k as our budget for okay. this video. So that's not too bad. But we got to get into the formation guesses. So yep. let's get into the squad screen. 
Right, we've both written down formation guesses on whiteboards. So, do you want to go first or second with naming the formation that you want to use? I'll tell you what I want to use first, see how bad the damage is. Okay, go on then. I would like to use, it starts with a four. Yeah. It's then got a one. Okay. And a three, two. Oh, okay. That's a little bit interesting. That That's the left mid, right mid, centre mid, isn't it? Yeah, so Which I'm playing him as high up the pitch, like almost in that cam spot, but the high centre mid, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I would have never have guessed that in a million years. I wrote I wrote down 4-3-1-2. So. <laughs> that's the one I loved all last year. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was I had that in the back of my mind, and I was like, uh, Ward Prowse is wide centre mid, maybe, but... Now, I feel like this is a formation that you wouldn't have written down. If you've written it down, geez, kudos to you for writing this down. But I'm going to go with the 4 2 4. Oh, the attacking formation. I love yes. it. I respect it. I wrote, well, I originally wrote down th those exact numbers yeah. um, in a 4 4 2. But then I changed my mind and I wrote down 4 3 2 1. Um, but yeah, you could keep that. That's very attacking. Love it. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going balls to the walls with this formation. I have a something in mind, basically, so I'm, I'm sticking with it. But we're going to have to build our team. So if you want to see our teams, continue watching. But if you don't want to watch, see our team so you can play along with the guessing, look away now and I'll let you know when you can look back. We both have our fully completed squads on screen right now. So continue looking away and we're going to switch over to each other's squads for the guessing stages. Into the first round of guesses we go. Three blind guesses each. Do you want to go first or second on naming three players, Brad? Um, I will go first. Okay. Well, I just at the, thinking at the moment that it's just kind of like I'm doing my best to just look at strong links because at mm. this time you don't really have anything. Like you could have loads of Italians, you could have loads of English. So there's no way I'm going to know that. So I've written down Damian, Kudus and Fabianski. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of those in my team. Quite Fair lucky enough. in some ways because... Damian, I'm not going to lie, was a thought process in my head. But no, not gone with any of those. Uh, my, my thought process is probably going to be sort of like a similar thought. I think I'm probably going to focus on links to pop more than anything. I don't know whether to go German. German Women's League. Wolfsburg. German Wolfsburg. Because I'm thinking German Wolfsburg could potentially offer that double link but would you go down the women's league side of the things for that and a perfect link i think that would be a little bit too big i think you might try and be sneaky i guess and use the men's side of things so i'm just going to say have you got baku try another one from wolfsburg in the men's team is there any castiles as another one and then in the women's side of it, we will go with Pajor. I don't have any of those. Okay, that's all right then. Uh, whittles down some options, which is the important part of this guessing at the end of the day. So now we've got to go into five questions each. Yes or no? trying to get yep. some information about each other's team so again same question would you like to go first or second on those guesses i'll let questions? you go first with the questions because i'd like to sort of gauge what direction you go in and things um okay so question number one i've i've noticed a pattern with the first two episodes so i, I i'm gonna wonder if you might go down the same route so have you got any non top five leagues and that's male top five leagues in your team other than obviously the women's german league shall i say so add yes. that so six leagues yes you have okay interesting do you have three or more women in your team 
Do I have three or more women in my team? No, I don't. Do you have the MLS or the Saudi League in your team? No. Do you have any perfect links to Barella in your team? Yes. Do you have any perfect links in your team? Yes. Because I feel like I've got a, bit, a good bit of information now where I feel like I should capitalise to try and like guarantee something. Um, actually, or I don't know, actually. Um, your perfect links to Barella are, yeah. are either or both of them at fullback position. No. Okay. Your perfect links in your team are they, but not including to your marquee players within the Premier League or the German Ladies League? Can you ask the question again? Okay. So your perfect links in your team yep. are yep. they um, within the Premier League or the German Ladies Link League, but? They don't link directly to um, the sort of perfect link isn't actually toward Prow, so it's not English West Ham and it's not German Wolfsburg for um, link to your marquees. Yes. Well, okay. I think I'm going to leave that part now because I feel like I've got that done. Um, so let's have a think. Do you have three or more English players not included in Ward Prowse? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Do you have a German or English icon in your team? No. So my final question. Do any of your front four play for Man City or Chelsea? Yes, they do. I'm, I'm a bit worried. that you've. I feel like you've got a lot of good, decent information. Uh, out I, I do as well. That. Uh, so I'm a little bit alarmed right now as to uh, the, whether I'm going to be keeping all my players or not. i tell you what it is, right, before you give me your last question. The perfect link to Barella thing is massive because there's none that play in the front four. Uh, good Good thing is, is there's no more questions. That is all five questions right That there. is all five questions, yeah. That is all five questions. So we're going to get into now the alternate round of player guessing five guesses each now with this information oh gosh um we'll be back in a second for that do you want to go first or second on the player guessing i will go second because i know you're worried okay so <laughs> it's uh an interesting sort of situation so i, I know you've got some perfect links in your team I know you've got like non-top 5 leagues I know you've got no German or English icon in there but I do feel like you'll probably most of the time will have an icon in there especially now that icons are more helpful this year with helping with that league link making uh, building teams slightly easier but I think what I'll, I'll focus on a little bit is I think I will go with Prem and I think, what is the perfect link wise? I can think of Kevin De Bruyne, Doku, for instance, a, at Man City, Grealish Foden, but I don't think Grealish Foden you can actually have because, oh, actually, no, Foden does play on the right hand side, and you got Grealish that plays on. Oh, no, wait, no, sorry, no, because it's left mid, right mid, not right wing, left wing. So that doesn't actually work. You could have Stones, Foden Grealish, Walker. Mm, that, was, that was that bit of information that you gave me earlier. So let's start with your right back. And yeah. do you have Carl Walker there? I don't, no. Okay, damn. That because I told you that I packed him. <laughs> I just thought I'd try it, you're, just you're, in case. You're seeing... You'll see in the cut of the squad building at some point he is in my team and then I realise that I told you about him. I don't think I'll go for the jugular just yet, but I'm going to ask left centre-back, is it Bastoni? Yep, straight away. Yep. Got him. That was it. That was the one that was 100% pretty much uh, off on the chopping board. And, well, 
I'm surprised you actually got the right position. I mean, it was a 50-50 on the positions. Left yeah. centre back or right centre back, but you went straight in there. One player down already. Not great. I will try CDM then. And I'm going to ask, do you have uh, Oberdoff from the ladies Wolfsburg team? I do not. Okay, that's uh, another negatory then. Okay, go on then. Cast more damage on my team then. Right centre back. This would give me a lot of information. Is that a Serbi? No, it's not a Serbi at all. Cool. I mean, damn. That would be risky for me. Because he's um, into Milan as well, isn't he? Yes, he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would well, I asked you if you had two or more perfect links, so I know there's another one. So, do I want to try? I did this last week. I tried a massive punt at goalkeeper. Now, German goalkeepers, English goalkeepers. I want to try English goalkeepers. I think. I I think it's one of three players: Ramsdale, Pope, or Pickford. I'm going to say, do you have Pickford in goal? Unbelievable. Yeah, I do. Oh my God! The hell Mary works again! Woo! Unbelievable. Tip for tat then. Your goalie. Yep. Yeah. Is it Ordero? No, it's not. Okay, so you got an Everton, you got an Everton player in here then. So English Everton. Now, obvious would be Godfrey because he's got the most pace out of a lot of them. You could go with Tarkovsky and Keane if you really want. Tar I mean, Tarkovsky is the best centre back there, and you could. I I would say sometimes pace isn't actually too bad with uh, this game. Slow players do can feel for, uh, fast, but would you want to go with that? And then the problem is, is with Godfrey, and to be fair, I've already gone with right back, so he could be up right back and that's it. You're fine and dandy, but we'll try Godfrey uh, left back. No. Okay. It was worth a shot. So we're best to go with these other things. So I said, Chelsea or Man City, and you said yes. Let's go for your left striker. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is it Raheem Sterling? No, it is not Raheem Sterling. Oh, I've already gone CDM. Oh, I... I have a feeling it could be Stanway at CDM for you. Actually, do you know what? I, it's, I don't think he's got a perfect link, but it's a nation link. And we'll go with... Which striker do I want to have a punt at here for this one? I'm going to say... Your left striker, is it Akpom? No. Uh, my final guess, I'll go for your right wing. And yep. I will ask, is that Phil Foden? No, it's not. Okay. Got the right club there. You got the right club, but the wrong club at the same time. Women's it's Kelly. Women's. Yep. Yeah. I'll run through my team for you so that... Uh, you can understand it. There's a there's a fair few perfect links within my team. So starting off in goal, I've got Ramsdale. My okay, that's who I was going to choose. Is a perfect link. The right one is a bit stinky. So I've got Chow and Rike at left back, and then Vanderson at right back. Yep. Right centre back, you were never going to get realistically. Matthias Rees, his um, squad foundations card from the rewards, season rewards. And obviously you got Bastoni. Barella, Ward Prowse you know about. Then I've got another perfect link, which is Kelly and Hemp's. 
Then I've got another stinky player in the attack, which is Edwards, which gets a club link to uh, Matthias. And then my left striker is my Joker card, and that is a lone Suka. Oh, nice. Yeah. We'll have to um, we'll have to go back and check then, because I think I asked if you had two or more perfect links to Barella, and you said yeah. I heard perfect um, link. But I'm not sure. I heard have you, have you got a perfect link to Barella, but we have to probably get a VAR yeah. check right there. Get a VAR check. Do you have any perfect links to Barella in your team? So obviously you know Pickford, who is gone. Um, left back is my perfect link to Pop. It is Roach. My left centre back is Saliba. My right centre back is in form Romero, okay. and my right back is Reese James. My CDM is my icon. And that is Emmanuel Petit. At left mid, I have Hume Min Son. At right mid, I have Cascarino. So she is the female from Lyon, who gives a perfect link to my left striker, Diani, and then Pop on the right striker. That's an interesting team. I I mean, some of those players I, I wouldn't have got, but that's a bit of a pain. But we've got one, damn, one player missing on each. You've got no goalkeeper. I've got no centre-back. Go on then, Brad. Deal out the information. What centre-back am I going to be using? Well, seeing as I've got Hyun Son, I've got a uh, Korean counterpart friend um, in Lee Won Woo for you. Staggering Lee. 41 pace. Uh, 51 rated, is that? He is, yep. Okay, He's a big boy. I've got him. Oh, a tough. Oh, okay. That that's not quite what I'm giving you. Now we all take the Mickey out of female goalkeepers and them lacking height, but I'm going to give you a male goalkeeper instead. I'm going to give you Alex Robinson. Is he lacking height as well? Not probably as bad, but he's he is lacking height for a goalkeeper. Fifty rated. Yep. Yeah. This not, could be not, a bloodbath. Not... <laughs> it could be. And gold difference at the end equals discards. Good luck, Brad. I need to see this. Good luck, mate. I need to see this bronze goalkeeper. Oh, fantastic. Two weeks in a row that I get to see a bronze goalkeeper in my opposition's team. But it's a, it's a tricky defense, though. It's always with me as well. Always with me. Yeah. Tricky defense, though, to get past. Go on, Edwards. Save! Go on! 73 shooting versus the bronze goalkeeper. What will come out on top? Oh, no. No game. Don't do this to me. Oh, that's the one thing I hate is defending in this game. And I have a bronze centre back as well to help me with that. Oh, no. He's missed it. He's missed it. Ramsdale. Another thing I hate. Goalkeeping. Yeah. I've never been a fan, to be fair. No. The one time goalkeepers were good was like two years ago, and then people complained, so they made them bad again. Oh, no. Here we go. Ciao. No! No! Wow. That scared me too much there. Come on. Just on target. On target! I know you've got 73 shooting, but that you have one job. Get it on target to try and get a goal. Get a striker that can actually shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Pop no. goes the weasel. Oh, no. I should have put a striker in that can actually shoot. Oh, yes, yes, no, yes. Just shoot. Oh, for God's sake! Just on target! <laughs> oh, why can't my players get the goal? Go. Right, go on. Into the box, guys. Into the box. Shoot. Oh, the... well in. Wow. Well, Knew it was in. It was Knew it was in off the rebound. It, it, I'll just have to take that. But, oh, uh, if that wasn't a goal, I'll just have to be crying right now. Oh, great. Diani's dispossessed me. Good one, Ramsdale. 
And never mind, pop goes the weasel. Pop goes that finesse shot. My goodness. She might be slow, <sighs> but that shot is good. That shot is good. 87 shooting coming in handy as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's high at this stage of the game. Come on, cross it in. Oh! Save! <laughs> good shot, Go on, good keeper. save. Wow. I, when I picked that goalkeeper, I was not expecting something like that. He's only got 30 reactions, apparently. Just try it. Nice. Got to minimise the damage right now. Come on, Edwards, oh, wow. redeem yourself. <laughs> no tip, don't use Edwards at striker. There's your lesson for today, guys. Okay, you, use that person. Don't use Ramsdale in goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, oh my God. <sighs> Should have done better than that. But then again, as proof, proof in the pudding, goalkeepers are just terrible. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Ah, but hello. he does have his dead ball uh, specialist trait on him, so that's a bit lucky, I guess. Well, he's got he's got still got it as a trait, but it's not the playstyle yeah. plus. Oh my oh. god, that was close. Oh my god. <laughs> if that was a plus, I think that would have been uh, a goal. That would have been in, yeah. Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> Ping pong football! Can you go away? One last opportunity. Okay, no last opportunity there. Two discards for me then. Okay. Zuka's off Come limits, on. so that's fine. Yep. Beyond that, actually, I'm, I'm thinking. I don't think there's anything that's too bad. Well, no, when you stick Edwards up front, I mean... <laughs> valid point in some ways. Uh, valid point. <laughs> uh, and Vanderson not right back as well. I think... I guess uh, it would be the only, the only good thing to get right now is your Chow and Rike that you just completed. Yep. Uh, Ward Prowse, because obviously he'll be probably worth the most in terms of coins, and then maybe uh, yeah. Matthias Royce uh, at centre back. So let me get this all shuffled up then. What I'll do is I'm just going to show the camera that pre are uh, pre written your positions. I feel like you're going to hit one player regardless right now. Do I want to shuffle this up anymore? Do I want to shuffle this up anymore? I think I will just. Do that. There we go. Name two positions then. Okay. I'd pre-written them, so if you've moved someone into that position, fate was already sealed. First one is left wing. Okay. And the second one is right back. Damn it! That was the last change I made. I switched my fullbacks around as my last one. So that's Chow Enrique gone. Oh, just completed it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. And he didn't do too badly in that game as well. That's a bit of a disappointment. And the other one is Hemp, who had to buy, which was is 13,500 coins. So a brand new SVC okay. that I've just completed and 13,500 coins. Well, might as well finish off the duos then, I guess. Okay, here we go. Chow Enrique Hemp into the Jeffino SBC. So the other part of the dynamic duos is done. So a bit strange putting a dynamic duo into the dynamic duo. But we get that. And we're going to get a lovely, fantastic 7.5k pack. Thank you, EA. For rewarding me for doing that SBC, which is the other thing I have with this game, I've got to say. Let, let, let's finish it off with this. I find some of the rewards in this game are very unrewarding, especially like that mm. um, Trailblazers Cup out at the moment. You go out of your way to win 10 games, and 
the packs aren't actually that amazing. No. No, I mean, I think, like, I... As, as you would know, despite having a YouTube channel and stuff, I am very casual with it all. I don't, you know, I'm not an everyday person. Um, so the only thing I do appreciate is that final burst of XP mm. because it helped me get my 40, level 40. But like you say, for the amount of wins, like one 84 plus rare gold player for win of eight wins and then that player pick, I... I yeah, and a prime goal players pack to finish it. I just think that considering that in the season progress, they've just given away right at the end, essentially an 86 plus times three, an 85 plus times two, a 50k pack, you would think that grinding out online gameplay would come with something similar. Mm. Um, but it is what it is. It you is. know, it's again, I keep having to remind myself it is week four, it is week four. Um, and you know any free fodder at this stage for some SBCs is great. We're not expected to necessarily pack the absolute bangers that come in the um, promos at the moment because the best ones are so far out there, like two mil, three mil, um, and then the other ones are kind of mediocre. But yeah, it's it. You know they they even gave more, which I find really strange for the evolutions expert, which doesn't even have to be played online, can be played in squad battles. Yeah, yeah. 85 plus times two. Yep, that, that is more rewarding. You have to play a bit more games, because obviously you have to play 20, but yeah, it's completely uh, another level of rewardingness. But we could probably yep. rabbit on about all of these sort of things for ages. But he did mention he's do he does his YouTube channel, so I'll put the links to that down below. Make sure to follow him, because he does a Riches to Glory RTG, which is around the Saudi League. He also streams every Monday on Twitch. So I'll put that link down below as I also stream on Twitch. So find all the links down below in the description. But thank you for coming on to the video. I hope you've enjoyed coming back to uh, Budget Builder Face Off. It's good to have it back, to be fair. Yeah, I loved it. And I love the little changes in the series. It makes it that little bit more interesting. And yeah, I, I had fun. It was good. good. We'll have you on again soon, without a doubt. But... Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye guys.